Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And as always, welcome to this little corner of Father's Vineyard. We are absolutely delighted that you guys join us. So thank you for being here. I wish we could see your faces. Uh, you know, we're just looking forward to that day when we're going to all be able to be in the presence of our Father together. And oh, it's going to be an exciting, wonderful day to get to just hug each one of you and what a blessing. Look at all this stuff we're going through now and how difficult things are becoming in the world. I'm sure I don't have to tell you to look at it. I'm sure you all are aware of it, but isn't it amazing how God just takes care of us in the midst of the storm? I love that. I want to read, uh, I want to read to you this morning. I'm going to read out of the book of John. And I'm going to read the 16th chapter. I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told them to you. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I'm going to him who sent me. And none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment concerning sin because they do not believe in me, concerning righteousness because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer, concerning judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. A little while and you will see me no longer, and again a little while and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What is this that he says to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father, so they were saying, what does he mean by a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, is this what you are asking yourselves, what I meant by saying, a little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me? Truly, truly I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. In that day you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures of speech, but will tell you plainly about the Father. In that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world, and now I am leaving the world 
and going to the Father. His disciples said, Ah, now you are speaking plainly and not using figurative speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need anyone to question you. This is why we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Behold, the hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered, each to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You guys, sometimes we feel so scattered and so far apart and kind of like we're out there on our own, but just like, just like Jesus said to the disciples, the day was coming when they were going to be scattered, but the day was also coming when we would all be with him. So even though we go through hard things and even though sometimes we feel like we're by ourselves, we're really not. I know I've said this before, but it's so true. Chuck and I feel the love of our brothers and sisters in Christ coming from you guys to us. We really do feel that. It's, it's precious. We cherish it. But you know, it was the last statement that he made in those verses where he said, In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And then earlier in the chapter where he said the time was coming when people would think they were doing God a favor by killing us. Our eyes can't be on anything or anyone but our Father. Our hope is in Him. Our security is in Him. He is our refuge. He is our strength. He's so amazing and so many of us know that and if you don't know that yet you just keep studying you just keep pressing into him he's going to show you how amazing he is father we thank you for the things you're doing we thank you for this time that we have together each morning we thank you for the written words that that we have available to us through scripture to tell us to show us the things that happened in this world long before we came to uh, to help us see that you are God and and to learn about how majestic you are and how faithful you are from the very beginning of scripture and how you will be very you'll be faithful to the very end of it thank you father for the gift of family the gift of brothers and sisters in Christ thank you for the gift of your spirit for the sacrifice of your son Thank you for the hope that you, you offer each one of us as we look at you, as we just abide in you, following and trusting in you to lead the way in all things. You are so good and your mercy endures forever. So Father, for this day, as each one of us enters into this day or as we continue on with the day, if we're already well into it by the time we hear this morning session, God, we just ask you, Continue to direct our paths. Continue to help us see how to follow you, where you would lead us, and bless us with hunger, with passion, and with fire for our Creator, for Father God, for you, for you, the Holy One. We thank you, and we praise you for all of these things. You are so good, and your mercy endures forever. And we thank you and praise you and we bless your name in the name of our Savior, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, the living word of God. Amen. You guys, we're right here. Just like you're right there and we have brothers and sisters all over the world. We are all right here praying for one another, lifting one another up to Father's throne. There is no obstacle 
that's an obstacle to God. So when we follow him, he takes all of those things out of our paths, shows us how to go around them or over them or just to ignore them and walk right on through them. What a mighty God he is. Father, thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for all of our brothers and sisters in you. We bless your name. We love you guys so very much. We will see you soon. God bless you. Have an awesome day with the Lord. Bye for now.